Hello mom, hello dad. Finally, I think we're done with frost season. So I went to the farmer's market this morning and picked up some peppers and tomatoes. I've got some purple beauty here. And I'm gonna put three in each bale. So I'm putting some topsoil, put a hole in the hay here, or straw, topsoil in there, some coffee grounds. Golden Wonder. Jalapeno peppers. This row is getting squash, pumpkins, gourds, and moonflowers on the trellis. And it's getting lettuce and some flowers on the ends. The idea here is to put enough vines in so that this trellis gets completely covered so I get a summer shade reading space. Morning Glory Moonflower. Connecticut Field Winter Squash. Jack be little pumpkins. Tennessee dancing gourds. And tiger melons. On this side I have Lakota squash, Delicata winter squash, spaghetti squash, watermelon, and Shirantai melon. I have two kinds of tomatoes. I have some Cherokee purple and I have some Sweet 100 cherries. So I'm going to put two in each bale. I'll dig a little bit deeper hole. It's not a lot of top on these are pretty small plants but I want to bury them down 
so that it's just the top leaves showing. I probably would have liked more variety, but the seller had these in four packs for $2 a four pack. So I just got two four packs since I only have room for eight plants here. Whatever these bales are, I've got a lot of it growing, but that's okay. As they get bigger, they'll be easier to pull just adds carbon. I probably would have liked some bigger tomato plants, but at this particular market there was only two people selling plants and the one had these small ones for two dollars for a four pack. The other guy had big tomato plants, but they were ten dollars a piece and I wasn't about to pay his asking price. So these will be fine. Will you? Lots of growing time here, so. At least compared to Minnesota, there's a lot of growing time here. All right, here we are. Oh, I still have to put in some flowers over on these other beds, but I'm going to tuck some cosmos and nasturtium just along the edge of these squash rows. That way I'll have color on this side and hopefully get the vines to grow up that way. That's it. Love you. Bye.